My name is Michael Sharma and today I'll be discussing the situation on hand with the teachers for your company. As a CEO, I will discuss the problem and then explain the solutions I was able to form to remedy the situation. So let's first start off by understanding the problem. A loyal client of ours wants a book of t-shirts that has a slogan that is offensive to the culture of one of the employees and this must be considered without any hurdle. The employee feels that he can't print the slogan due to the offensiveness of the slogan, whereas it seems odd for me as a CEO but not necessarily offensive. Now that dealing with the order could impact customer retention as the client makes up for 20% of our revenue, and on the other hand, ethics and cultural differences must also be considered to maintain a strong employee management. So let's first look into the strategic alternative. Now first, the strategic alternative is that as CEO said to this firm, I believe in customer retention and business norms that would benefit the company. The clients that are in this situation benefit the firm and they cannot be alienated in, in any manner. At the same time, the employee's morale mustn't decrease in any manner as that impacts the productivity of the business. So maintaining a balanced approach to the solution would be vital for the longevity of the business. Coming towards the strategic solution that I would take forward, I would deal with this problem by discussing it with the employee. The steps that would be taken would be immediate and a meeting would be arranged with the employee for the discussion. As a business leader, I would respect the employee for sharing his cultural barriers and then I'll discuss with him the issue as follows. I must convince the employee that the projects we have on hand work to the benefit of the company and the employees within it. The client makes up for 20% of the early sales, revenue, and if the orders are not completed as per the time constraints, then it could result in major losses, which would increase the employee turnover rate as there would be major layoffs. This shifts the equilibrium of the business in great aspects, and that is why the employee must be explained of the case properly. I feel that understanding the conditions of the firm would enhance our business ethical norms as well as we would be able to determine to meet the needs of the client. For the employee to comprehend the seriousness of the case, it would be crucial for me to talk and discuss with him in a manner to make the condition much calmer and try to maintain a positive attitude so that the employee remains motivated. In the, pro in the process of convincing him, I would have to clarify that it is important to take on a corporate approach when working in this shirt company as many clients would demand various sorts of articles of clothing that would not adhere to cultural norms. Emotional approaches in a business setting would work against the ethical codes of conduct that have been initiated and thus if we do not work ethically then it would lead to bankruptcy and thus those high employee turnovers. Along with the understanding and bringing about a feasible solution, the various risks and benefits involved with this, with this decision must also be taken into account. Some of the risks include not getting the right quality or the amount of mot motivation from the employee, which acts as an opportunity cost for the firm, as it is unexpected and these are potential benefits that can be missed out on with this solution. The employee might feel offended at times due to the cultural differences of them, uh, cultural differences, and then employee motivation and management would slack off, which would further impact the customer retention as clients may complain about the quality of the product. This could undoubtedly result in great losses and the business may shift elsewhere or get products from competitor firms. Finally, business ethics may be impacted as some employees may complain about how work doesn't align with their cultural norms and that would shift back to the previous problem of low quality assurance. I feel that due to these risks, further action must also be taken into value and if the case still doesn't get resolved with the discussion or these risks are monitored beforehand, then it would be best that a job rotation is initiated where the employee with the cultural barriers can work on the printing works of different products that are not culturally offensive. Now looking at this from a positive angle, we can say that the employee may be understanding of the discussion and he may work with full potential putting cultural norms aside. From a corporate perspective, these would be the benefits that would thus form and work and the orders would be completed with the solution and it would increase the possibility of customer retention. There could be additional goals for us as a company, further maintaining strong relations with external stakeholders. Maintaining a strong market position would be an additional benefit of going ahead with the solution. As such, high competition with competing firms will form due to the strong employee retention and there won't be any loss of time for regaining sales back as the client will remain loyal with our company. Now we will look into the, a second alternative solution. Working upon this job rotation theory, I feel that this solution would also work to provide the business with the great results they look for. In this job rotation solution, I will look to work with the employee with the cultural constraints and would respect that he will not be able to work on the printing work. As such, my steps to getting the solution to work would be to ask the employee to work on another product that does not have cultural constraints that would eliminate the offending feeling for the employee. Then I could look to hire an alternative person for that employee who can print those slogans without the barricading at home. 
the new employee would work as diligently as the previous one and he would get hands-on experience in the field of printing, while the previous employee gained knowledge of other aspects of production. This encourages employee management and improves employee morale. This would benefit our company in many ways as we would be looking at the benefits of job rotation as well as the benefit of completing the future orders from the client. Some of the evident benefits of the solution would be high customer retention rates and the employee management would simultaneously excel. There would be higher competitive edge without having to worry about the cultural norms like in the previous solution. Additionally, there could be, uh, you could be looking at more experienced experience employee labor force that could help the business in the long run. Along with these benefits, there are also chances of greater risk, risk involved in their respective further actions that must be taken. Once again, these are opportunity costs that must be dealt with by the business if a solution is encouraged, if this solution is needed. Some of these risks include confusion of when you move an employee into a new position, and there's a learning curve. Employees might need the training to do their new job. The cost of training employees can be thousands of dollars and take hours, which would further impact the time it takes to complete the client's orders, which could risk the chances of proper customer retention and employee management. Further actions like increasing productivity, continuous monitoring, and quality assurance would be required, which would once again affect the ethical norms and the business's ethics. Possibly, possibly more training time would overcome the risk, but overall, in the long run, it would benefit the company. Overall, these are the two strategic solutions that I came up with as the CEO, and I feel that with the analysis that is done through the case, the second solution is more feasible as it allows more comfort and freedom for both the employees and the client. Altogether, I would look to initiate the second approach to deal with this problem. And that's basically how I'm looking as a CEO to solve the solution and remedy the situation. Thank you for listening.